Hey guys, Cam McClellan here. A hey, quick one, uh, creating real wealth comes down to one key thing, holding the most amount of asset with the least amount of money out of your back pocket. So that's holding the most amount of asset, the least money out of your back pocket. Now there's two ways when it comes to investment with that. The least of amount of money going in as equity, of how much money you put in for deposit and costs versus the asset you hold. And the other one's obviously the rental yield. So how much money you get back from rental yield, which reduces the cost to hold. So if I think of the context, or think, people usually say to me, hey, do I build a portfolio of residential property and then I'll graduate into commercial property? Not so, I own both, um, I own a number of different, um, and I've got a number of different portfolios with Felicity and myself, um, with my business partners, and we own residential in some and commercial in others. And, um, but if you're starting out, um, let's think about it in the original context of what I, the premise I said with um, holding the most amount of asset. If you're purchasing a commercial property, you will put uh, you know 30% in thereabouts. So if you're, for most people, they might be able to afford 300 grand deposit, for example, on a commercial property will get you a million dollar property. And what you're buying there is a milk bar. Really, a million dollar commercial property is such a small asset. So my daughter's just rubbing away there. Okay. But um, as opposed to 300 grand, if you put that into residential property, you can probably hold somewhere between 1.5 and $2 million worth of property. Hey, Rube, shh, 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 shh. Good girl. Good girl. So, uh, it doesn't matter whether one outperforms the other slightly. If you can hold you know, one and a half to two times the amount of asset for the same money out of your back pocket, now let's think of it if we're talking commercial as well. Uh, you also need to understand, before you consider commercial, you need to understand how to read balance sheets, cash flow, and um, P&Ls. You need to understand the industry that someone's in and understand um, the complexity in their business and their industry before you consider them as a tenant. As opposed to um, you know, residential tenants who you might have three or four, if one falls out, we can get another one pretty, pretty soon. Uh, the same with rental yield. A lot of people will sit back and with rental yield, they'll be hanging out for another $10 per week. It's better to drop your rent $10 and get someone a, a tenant in straight away. For you know, $10 a week, might be 500 bucks across a year. Well, that's only a bit over a week's rent that it takes you, that you're gonna make back straight away. So get people renting your properties out, even if it's 10 bucks a week less, and buy lots of residential property as opposed to commercial. And uh, you, you'll get there in the end. Yeah, safe, safe investing, guys.